You're gonna need a place to call home in the new update, so here are 20 beautiful Minecraft seeds that will inspire you to build in 1.20. This spawn is perfect for a cherry wood starter base. You begin your Tales and Trails adventure by spawning on a cherry grove island. The surrounding river will give you a peaceful start by protecting you from intruders. Once you're ready to explore, build your very first cherry wood bridge to cross over to the nearby meadows and find out what else this world has to offer. If you're after a chill start, this is the most scenic and serene spawn you could wish for. You'll start by the bank of a river that flows toward the calming views of a cloud-filled mountain valley. You couldn't ask for a better view after first stepping foot into a new world. The small flat patch of grass by the river would be perfect for a starter shack or fishing hut. If this is what spawn looks like, I'm sure it only gets better from here. This seed has a dreamlike cherry grove landscape with loads of open-ended valleys that would be ideal for some cherry-walled towns. There's so much space for building in the sunflower fields below the pink blossom hills and plenty of rivers beyond the walls that add life to this already flourishing terrain. This will be the perfect spot for this world's cherry district after you gather recruits from the nearby villages. This is one of the craziest ice spike spawn ever. You begin your adventure right on the top of this insane slice of frozen windswept terrain. There are towering ice spikes, frosty tunnels, chilling cliff faces, and platforms high up in the sky. Connect these different sections together and build your very own frozen kingdom right at spawn that is sure to amaze your friends. Here's another beautiful and soothing build location for the new update. It's a small meadow plateau surrounded by rivers, mountains, and cherry grove. The flower filled land is conveniently leveled out for your build and the views will make living amongst these bees a place you'll never want to leave. The pink blossoming trees, blue flowing water and rainbow flowers in between make this such an eye-pleasing building spot. There's loads more inspiring build locations coming up that you won't want to miss, including beautiful lakes and the biggest enclosed mountain area ever. But first, check out this incredible windswept forest arch. This is the tallest arching overhang found so far in Minecraft. From the frozen ocean below all the way up to the clouds above, this location is bound to inspire some crazy build ideas. How would you fill this arch? Maybe you could turn it into a giant nether portal. This unique landscape already captures attention just by itself, so you can be sure that your base will stand out from the rest if you pick this location. This seed has a personal favorite build location for the new update. It's a huge meadow island filled with flowers, bees, and even a giant ruined portal. It's almost entirely surrounded by a river and cherry grove in all directions. Without crossing the river, the only exit from the meadow is through a strip of flower forest that runs through two cherry groves. It's the perfect natural pathway to leads up to your build. There are even some cool open caves to explore around the outskirts too. Speaking of exposed caves, this seed spawns you right next to one of the most interesting ones we've ever seen. It's like a giant egg-shaped cavern that sits at the bottom of these intimidating cliffs that make for some stunning visuals. Build yourself a cliff face base to look out over the surrounding landscape and you could use the cave below as an epic base entrance that leads you up to your build above. There's so many creative things you could do with this one and if you need resources, it looks like there's a mansion not too far away. You're bound to fall in love with this seed as it spawns you right next to a cherry mountain heart. It's the perfect spot for a secluded cherry themed build right at spawn. Whatever you decide to build in here, you'll be happy to know that you've got some friendly neighbors. The village scales its way up the cherry slopes and even hides some dripstone caves. There could be potential here for a tunnel system to easily reach the village from your base. There's loads of flat plains around the mountain too, so you won't be short of building options. This seed spawns you on a very special mountain range. It's one of the longest and narrowest ever found. It would be perfect to use this stretch of snowy peaks as a boundary between builds. It would be an interesting seed for two friends or two opposing factions. Each friend or team of friends can own the land on the side of the mountain and they can only cross to battle or trade. Compete with your friends to see who can build the best empire. We're only halfway through the list. The most amazing build locations are still to be seen. Sit back, grab your notepads, and prepare to be inspired. This is one of the rarest biome combinations you can spawn on in the new update. It's a small ice spikes valley almost entirely surrounded by cherry grove. The only part not surrounded by cherry grove leads you through a winding meadow valley with loads of other nice build locations to be found. This will be such an exciting spawn for trying out this pink new wood type. Do you have any cherry themed build ideas that would fit well in this cold and frosty biome? 
This seed spawns you by a deep lake watched over by mountains and two layers of meadow. This could be a great place to build a custom village that circles around the lake, but there's loads more to find right next to this lake too. There's a cherry tree river island, forest river islands, loads of villages, meadow valleys, and another cherry grove off in the distance. There's even more beautiful lake spawns to come, including this seed that spawns you on an eye-shaped cherry grove island that's surrounded by a river with a small lake right in the middle. Maybe you could build a spiral path down to an enchanted fishing shack hidden by the cherry forest. It's such a unique cherry grove formation. The way it's separated from the rest of the overworld by the river makes it really stand out from the rest. This is sure to be one of the more popular build locations for the new update, especially since it's right at spawn too. Here's a location that we thought would be perfect for a mountaintop castle up in the sky. The village at the bottom of the slope provides the starting point for a gradually inclining pathway up to your mountain castle location. Whatever you decide to build up here, you can be sure it will have the best vantage point to rule over this Minecraft world. Make your way down and you'll also notice a long mountain range where the slopes are covered in cherry blossom. It's such a pleasing backdrop for whatever you decide to build here. Here's another perfect starter base location for the new update. It's a decent sized segment of plains, once again surrounded by a river as well as Minecraft's newest biome. The island contains one singular tree as well as a ruined portal. It'd be a fun challenge to try and survive here as long as possible before bridging across to the cherry grove. Or gather yourself some cherry wood and build yourself a pink log cabin right in the middle of the island. Thanks for making it this far into the video. A massive cherry lake and the biggest mountain crater ever are among the seeds still to come, but you might love the next one just as much. This seed spawns you next to another cherry grove and die spikes combination, but just a short adventure into the snowy plains and you'll notice an extraordinarily long ice spikes path stretching hundreds of blocks. It's the biggest natural path that we've seen. You could use it to guide people to your ice palace, built right next to the cherry blossom forest, or build your own custom ice spikes and extend this path to every point of interest you come across in this world. Here's a popular seed that's been making its way around the internet recently. You spawn right next to this mixed forest island surrounded by a river. People love the idea of their builds being naturally separated from the rest of the land. There's a long stretch of river that leads directly to the island, giving it that extra special feel of importance. And on the opposite side, Side of the island, you can find a flat patch of meadow right next to a village, another nice area to set up camp. This is the flattest and most spacious plain spawn we've seen in a while. With all the new features being added to Minecraft, people are craving simplicity more and more. This seed will definitely give you that. There's so much space for building, but there's some new features too. At the end of the wide open plains, you'll find a small cherry blossom hill. This would be a great place to watch over your builds in the new update. This is the best lake to build around in Minecraft 1.20. The lake is huge and entirely surrounded by cherry grove. There's even a gradually declining path that leads you from the pink forest down to the lakefront. Whether you decide to build around the lake or right in the middle, you won't be limited to the materials as you can find almost every different wood type surrounding the large cherry blossom forest. The lake is super deep too, so you could even test yourself out with some underwater builds. But if you'd like a bit more space above land, this final seed is going to get you excited. This is the biggest enclosed mountain area in Minecraft. It's like four mountain valleys combined into one. Your builds will have fantastic views thanks to the tall, jagged peaks that circle all the way around. We'd love to see someone fill this entire area with 1.20 themed builds. There's flowers of all colors, large exposed caves, flowing mountain streams, and even some structures. It's a dream building location. There's even a small cherry hill over the peaks with incredible views of the mountains. Will you be building your base in any of these locations in the new update? If not, let us know what kind of location you're looking for. If you'd like to continue your seed search, check out this video that showcased the best lush cave island ever found.